In this video, we're going to find the area uh, under the graph of this function from negative two to two using the limit process. So this is a, a long process, but it's not too bad if you just go slow and you uh, take your time. So let me give you the formula for area and then we'll slowly go through it. So the area is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum as i runs from one to n of f of c sub i times delta x. So this is the formula for area, okay? This is also equal to something called the definite integral from negative two to two of four minus x squared dx. So this is the easy way to do it. Once you know something called the fundamental theorem of calculus, you can just work this out really quickly. You can put this into like, you know, Wolfram Alpha or a calculator and it will give you the answer. So we're basically doing things the long way. It's kind of like when you first learn derivatives, you have that definition with the f of x plus h minus f of x. This is the same thing, except it's for, for intervals. Let's draw a picture of what we're actually finding and that's gonna let us take a really cheap shortcut. So this is an upside down parabola and it goes from negative two to two, it looks like this. And so we're finding the area under uh, this, this parabola. So notice that we're going from negative two to two. So instead of doing that, what we can do is we can just find this area and then multiply the answer by two, right? Because these areas are the same. So instead of going from negative two to two, let's cheat. Let's go from zero to two. And at the very end of the problem, we're going to multiply our answer by two. It's just a really nice shortcut we can take. Again, we're, we're, at, we're trying to find the area of this entire piece, so we're just gonna find this area and then multiply the answer by two. Okay, so let's go ahead and work it out. So delta x, what is that? So delta x is equal to b minus a over n. So b here is gonna be the two, and a is gonna be the zero. So this will be two minus zero over n, so this is just two over n. So delta x is two over n. So that's an accomplishment, that, that's important. I'm gonna put that in a little box. So why do I do that first? Just because uh, we're trying to come up with this. So I like to do it in steps. So first we find delta x. C sub i is another formula. It's a plus i delta x. So a is zero. <laughs> this is why I did this. It makes it so much easier when a is zero. So c sub i, so it's gone because it's zero. So you just get i times two over n. These problems are pretty fun. I actually haven't done one of these in a long time. So c sub i is equal to two i over n. So I'm gonna put that in a little box. That is an accomplishment. So now we gotta work out f of c sub i. So by the way, this is our f of x. Right, y is equal to f of x. So f of c sub i is f of 2i over n. So we have 2i over n. So that's equal to, well, it'll just be four minus x squared. So four minus this thing here squared. So 2i over n squared. So this is four minus, so you just get four i squared over n squared. Going kind of fast. Let me go ahead and just rewrite it here. This is f of 2i over n. Okay, so that's our f of c sub i. It's hard to read that. f of 2 sub i, 2 i over n. So that's this piece. So this is this piece here. Let's go ahead and write the summation sign. So we have the summation as i runs from 1 to n of this piece. So we work that out. It's this. It's, it's 4 minus 4 i squared over n squared. So 4 i squared over n squared. And then we have our delta x. What was delta x? Ah, <laughs> the power of boxes. We put it in a box. It's 2 over n. Let me pause here and just go over what we did. So the question is to find the area under the graph of this function. We drew a picture of the graph. We decided, hey, instead of finding the whole area, let's find half of it and multiply the answer by 2. We did that because it makes the a 0. It makes it really nice. So step 1, you find your delta x. It's b minus a over n. You get two over n, so really important to know this formula. Then you find c sub i, it's a plus i delta x. a is zero, so it goes away. So we have our c sub i. Then you take your c sub i and you plug it into your function. So we did that here. 
And now we're gonna write this summation sign. Notice I didn't write the limit yet. I, I like to wait to the very, very end of the problem, then I write the limit sign. Because once you write the limit, you have to keep writing it in order for the, you know, otherwise it's wrong. So I like to like be really lazy and wait to the very end and then just take the limit at the end. <laughs> Next step. So basically now, we're going to multiply this times this, okay? And anything that doesn't have an i, you can pull it out. So watch. So two over n times four. So two times four is eight. So it's eight over n. And we can pull it all out. So we have i equals one to n, and then we have a one here. See, two times four is eight, and then you have the n. And then minus two times four is eight. So you get eight n times n squared is n cubed, so you get n cubed. And again, if it doesn't have an i, just pull it out. Okay, so this is i squared. So super key, you can show a million steps here, uh, but it's just not worth it. It's always better just to do it in one step. So this times this is eight. So two over n times four is eight over n. You pull it out because there's no i. So you're left with the one, right? Because if you multiply this times this, you get eight over n. Two over n times this, two times four is eight. Boom, there it is, n times n squared is n cubed, boom, there it is. All right, so this is going to be equal to eight over n. This is n. Whenever you have one and you're adding it to itself over and over again, you just get n. So this is just n, always, right? Minus eight over n cubed. This is a formula, okay? It's n, two n plus one, sorry, n, <laughs> n plus one, two n plus one over six. Right, so it's a, a really uh, uh, annoying formula to memorize. So it's n, n plus one, two n plus one, and it's all over six, that's what this is. Now we're ready to take the limit. I know these cancel, but I'll, I'll write that later. So we've used our formulas, so now we have to take the limit, and that's almost the answer. So the limit, as n goes to infinity, I'll go ahead and cancel this, of eight minus eight over n cubed, and then we have n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1, and it's all over 6. Okay, so what is this going to be? Well, the 8 is just 8, no matter what, right? Because it's just constant, so it's 8. Here, notice it's n, 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 n cubed. It's n cubed over n cubed, so you just want the ratio of the leading coefficient. So just, what's the highest coefficient? The, the coefficient of the biggest degree term. So it'll be 8 times 2 here, because 8 times 2 is 16. I'm at the limit we're taking, so we only care about the highest degree terms. So 16 over 6. So that's going to be 8 minus 16 over 6 is 8 over 3. Okay, uh, but that's not the final answer. Let's let's go ahead and, and combine these. 8, how do you write 8 as a number over 3? Wouldn't that be 24 over 3? Yeah, because 3 times 8 is 24. So this is equal to 24 over 3. Yeah, because that's the same as 8 minus 8 over 3. Mm -hmm. And then 24 minus 8 is 16. It'd be really bad if I mess up here. But that's not the answer because we have to multiply by 2. So because we only found half the area, so 2 times that would give us uh, 32 over 3. This is a, a like a medium difficulty problem. Um, we made it easy by making that a 0. Think about, let's think about the complications that if we wouldn't have done that, if we wouldn't have done that, you would have had a 2 here, right? Because this would have been 2. Um, or sorry, negative two. And then when you plug it in here, you, you would end up with like negative two plus, you know, something like this. I think you would get something like this, yeah. And then you'd have to square that. So it would have been um, a lot uh, more work. So nice, nice shortcut uh, that we took. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. Take care.